Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Hollywood Studios. We are here to finally check out Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I'm really excited uh, because I was a huge fan of the great movie ride, and this is what's replacing that one. So is it a worthy successor? That's what we're going to find out today. The park just opened, and we're going to see how long the wait is. So let's see how it goes, but man, it is looking good. Jones stunt show they have a Mickey Mouse short film uh, I don't know if it relates to the ride or not it's about them going on vacation so it might maybe I don't think so I think it's more of like a promo kind of thing like mashup of stuff for uh, just like to promote their shorts that they've been posting on Disney Plus and a whole bunch of other stuff but it's actually really good so if you're in the park highly recommend you checking it out uh, it's right across the street from the Indiana Jones stunt show. Really good. Alright, so we just got off of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. There's got to be a way to abbreviate that. Just Runaway Railway? Mickey and Minnie's? I don't know. The Great Mouse Ride? Pfft, yeah, I don't know. The real question for me going into this ride was, does it replace the Great Movie Ride? Because I love that ride so much. I'm a huge movie fan, and it just really spoke to me on like a, I, I don't know, just like a different level. Because... I, I just, I'm so passionate about movies, old school Hollywood, just the history of all of it. So uh, that, mo that, that ride just really had a place in my heart. Of course it's gone, there's nothing you can do about that, but celebrate what comes in its place. So is it worthy to be replacing it? That's the real question for me. And honestly, I feel like it's a great ride. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, of course, is a fun exciting new addition to the park 
Uh, I think it's well deserved uh, to finally have a ride uh, in Disney World that is for Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Uh, it's long overdue, for sure, 100%. Uh, and I really like the ride, ton of fun, uh, beautiful, just like the, the whole ride, just the, the projection mapping that they have is absolutely breathtaking. Uh, it's a fun ride, but coming off the ride, I still had a huge hole in my heart from the great movie ride. Uh, it was great to see the little references here and there that they put inside of the ride. Uh, I'm going to grab a on-ride video of that. I didn't put it in this video because I didn't want to ruin the, uh, the surprise for you of the ride. But if you do want to uh, see an on-ride video, I'll be uploading a separate video of just that. So that'll be coming soon. As well as a full review. Uh, I'm still kind of wrapping my head around it. Great ride, fun ride, but yes. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet if it is a worthy successor to the Great Movie Ride. Definitely worth checking out though. That's interesting, from the Skyliner you can see a bunch of the backside of Indiana Jones. Pretty sure there used to be a ton of trees over there uh, covering it up. I wonder, wonder what happened. Friendship gets hard, but in the end, <laughs> 